Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. The start of a new chapter for the Tennessee Comptroller's Office. A new Comptroller of the Treasury will soon be elected. Jason Mumpower has invited his wife, Alicia, and son, Max, for this special occasion. We'll just keep on keeping on the same way we've been keeping on. The day begins with a short meeting with the office's legislative team followed by a walk to the War Memorial Auditorium, where House and Senate members are gathering in a joint convention. Mr. Sergeant at Arms, invite the members in and close the door. As legislators watch from the audience, the proceedings commence. The next order of business is the election of the Comptroller of the Treasury. The General Assembly elects the state's three constitutional officers, the Secretary of State, Comptroller, and Treasurer. The Comptroller of the Treasury serves a two-year term and is nominated for office by a member of the legislature. Mr. President, I nominate Jason E. Bumpower of Sullivan County as Comptroller of the Treasury. He's a great father, great husband, a good man, a good friend, and he has served us well in state government. With no other nominees, Jason E. Mumpower is elected Tennessee's 35th Comptroller of the Treasury by acclamation and immediately takes the oath of office. I, Jason E. Mumpower, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. The new Comptroller acknowledges his predecessor, Justin P. Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, can we hear it one time for our beloved Comptroller Justin P. Wilson? I am confident that under uh, Comptroller Mumpower, the Comptroller's office will make government work better. Thank you. In keeping with an established tradition, Comptroller Mumpower provides brief remarks to the General Assembly. I have a great tradition to uphold. I have learned from the best. So all I am going to say is let's make government work better God bless the state of Tennessee. Thank you very much. After the election, Comptroller Mumpower and his family walk back to the state capitol, where he is congratulated by Governor Lee. A new Tennessee money cop is on the job.